We're kind of playing on all of the elves' toys before they wake up and have fun in the North Pole. Brenton here, we're going to go for a ride with you. We're going to show off the go-karts because there's 15 acres of fun at Santa's Village. It closed down in 1998 yes. and then reopened just last weekend. So go ahead, get on, Zach. <laughs> Quote a lot heavier. Photographer Zach, give us, a, give us a heads up there, a thumbs up. Okay, so this is super fun. Shall I roll? Well, now that I'm completely out of breath from pushing um, <laughs> I knew Brenton and photographer Zach, <sighs> That's a wake up. I tell you That's what, it's good though because I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. I had to borrow someone's gloves. It's 35 degrees out here. I want to show you guys around, so I'm going to get up and walk. Uh, 35 degrees. Seven degrees. What happens after Christmas time? Yes. Does Santa just um, go back in his house and lock the door until next Christmas? Or I think I think so. Yeah, him and uh, and then Mrs. Claus they kind of you know go into hiding and and take a little break and maybe get warmed up. Um, you know what? That's a great question though. Do you know what happens after Christmas? Do they always have this open? Yes, it's going to be a year-round park. Absolutely. So Santa yes. Santa's always the elves there. are going to work year-round. Year-round as well as Santa. Santa doesn't need a break. Apparently not. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> kind of impressive. Everyone needs a break. But okay, I guess I have, not Santa. I have one more question. Do you have to buy all the tickets for okay. the attractions? I'm very excited about this, and there's a lot to do up there. Do you have to yes. buy them all separately, or do you get like one pack? Park opens at 10 a.m., and so okay. it's $60. It's kind of like if you were going to go to a mini Disneyland, I kind of think. Like a you mini. know, it's a, it's one of those parks, but a little bit smaller because uh -huh. you can walk around. And and is you get that your hot snow? Cocoa. Is that snow like real, real yeah, snow? Yeah, this is real snow. Ooh, go touch this it. Is yeah, what you go see around it. is actually Enjoy. real. And improved. Santa's Village all the way up in Lake Arrowhead. Oh. There's Heather Lake. She uh, packed Ooh. up the live truck, drove all the way up Hi. there. This is a big deal for a lot of people because oh, this sure. happened a long, long time ago. They closed it down and they just reopened it. Yeah, can you give me the cliff? Hey, very warm because it is cold. I mean, if you want to feel like the North Pole in Southern California, this is about as close as you're going to get. Okay, so it's a two-hour drive from Kearney Mesa, uh, and I think it's completely worth the drive. We've been showing off all the activities because if you come out here, you pay 60 bucks and everything's included. Uh, rock climbing, biking, ice skating, go-karts, the Polar Express is... Where Santa and Mrs. Claus will greet all the children in Santa's workshop. They'll be doing and, and go mining. Uh, there was an indoor rock climbing wall that I saw. And then, of course, there's gift shops, candy shops, a bake shop, a coffee shop. I want to show you how cold it is here because there's real snow on the ground. This isn't the, the fake snow that sometimes you see around Southern California just for fun. And it's so cold that one of the little ponds is even there here. Uh, Santa, I hear. So Santa's house. You see it with the candy cane out? See, um, one of the beautiful homes in the village. So come on in. This is Kay's Candy Shop, an ice creamery. Reindeer pooper. Look at the, what do you, wow, Whoa. that's big. Wait, is that real? <laughs> yes. Heather, what do you do the rest of the year when um, Christmas is done and Santa's packed up his sleigh and his reindeers and he's gone? Like, can you go after Christmas and thank Santa? Can you use yes. it all year with the kids and tell them? Yep you know you know so here yeah so, so if you want the kids to be good all year round you bring them out here in july right <laughs> <laughs> when things are, go are going rough around the house you say all right kids like we're gonna that. go see santa mm -hmm. what what do you do in july around here there i saw that there's Christmas a lot of biking july. too there's kind of like mountain biking and hiking around here for the spring oh it brings back all the memories of being a kid and watching the commercials for the santa's village uh how long is the drive from here Hours. Two hours, Two right hours from Kearney Mesa. Okay. okay. And um, it was actually, we had a beautiful sunrise. So there's some really pretty windy roads um, once you get past the highways and all right. that. But um, it's really, it's like, is it just west of Big Bear, right? Yeah. Just that? Yeah, I'm looking at a photographer's yeah, He, I slept the whole way here. <laughs> <laughs> it's so early. What, you, what time do you have to leave here this morning? Like what, three? Yeah, 3.45. Three, three oh. So well, thank hopped you the car for doing that. Oh, You're very, very cool. welcome. And bring oh, that chocolate back. I was turning <laughs> over in bed from take a little extra. I know. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> it looks beautiful up there. All right, still ahead. And good morning. I'm Heather Lake. I took a road trip to Lake Arrowhead. We're checking out Sky Park at Santa's Village. Santa, I, Santa. I am, I know. I wanted to show you the actual North Pole, though, because they really have the North Pole. It is complete ice, so I will not uh, stick my tongue to it like on the Christmas story or anything like that. But this is the North Pole, and it's so cold. It's literally 32 degrees. So folks in San Diego, if you're like, man, I was there when I was a kid, and it was fun, bundle up the fam, because it is cold out here right now, and the people out here tell me this is a warm, calm day. So if you're thinking of coming out to visit Santa's Village, uh, just like you did back in the 
the 90s. Well, you can now. They even have the original mushrooms. So if you were back here, you might remember these guys. They added those in, but it's 15 acres of fun. You pay $60, you come in, and you get to visit the big man, St. Nick. This is his house. So they've renovated a lot of the houses, and I hear that he's ready for us to come inside. St. Nick, are you ready? Oh, let's go inside. <gasps> Santa! <laughs> Um, for Fox 5, so everyone in San Diego. Could they hide everyone for in San Diego? Hello, everyone in San Diego. Welcome to Santa's Village. Can I give your whiskers a pull? Never are you the real? real? Thing. <gasps> they are. <laughs> They're on. Okay, um, I would like to know what kids are asking for this year. I know it's a very busy season for you. Oh, it's a variety of things. He knows, he knows when, when you're awake. He knows where you <laughs> are. No, he he's kind of like <laughs> he's kind of like that Uber app. <laughs> very Stop. true. He's like the Uber app. He knows <laughs> everything. Can we get one more? Can we get one more Merry Christmas to San Diego? Merry Christmas to San Diego. Welcome oh. to Santa's Village. Oh, oh, I like it. Oh, oh. I, I love Santa. Santa. Oh, oh, oh. Me too, Heather. Thank you. Aww. Aww.